There's nothing wrong with your computer. I'm trying to block the light from my cell phone so you can see. Well, from my, yeah, my the recording, my cell phone I'm recording with. So, that's what we got here. But what we really have here are crystal cell batteries. So what we have here, this is my original. As you've seen, it's still running since yesterday. This is my new one. Same amount of power. I say a third of the size, if that maybe even less than that, a tenth of the size. I have four of them in here in series. Top is negative, case is positive. I was playing around today, even trying to make a couple flat ones a little different. I got a half a volt out of that. The formula's been working really well. Laser, uh, laser sabers formula. Uh, Epsom salt, salt substitute, 20 multiple borax, and alum. But I did, I did discover something. A few of the cells I messed up on. Well, I didn't mess up. I built bigger cells. I wasn't happy when I took them apart. What I did discover is that I, uh, I dried. I separated it. Got it out, and I stuck it back in my coffee grinder, and I grounded it back up, and I reconstituted it into these cells that are functioning, as you can see. Oh, no, you can't. My light's so bright. Anyhow. Oh, now you can. Okay. And I uh, got the light from five below, making it practical. Let's see how long it lasts. I like it because it's on and off. I can play around with it. You know, Let's see what happens, that's all. And I'm sorry if I got you dizzy. I've been practicing a lot of this and playing with a lot of it. Uh, I use three quarter caps from Lowe's or Home Depot. You can get them anywhere you can, really. Uh, my next batch, I think I'm going to do what uh, John Hutchinson was doing when he was creating them. If he created them, he hit them with a charge. So I'm going to see if that does anything. And I'll let you know. This is my 2.0 version of the crystal cell. Thanks a lot. Hope I keep sharing.